Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you one way that I take notes from a textbook. First, I have to get out all my supplies. So I have a composition notebook, some sticky notes, my Stedler Tri Plus Fineliners, which are my absolute favorite pens, my Papermate Flare Pens, and of course, my textbook. I will have all of my pens and the sticky notes that I use linked down below. The most time consuming part of my note taking is definitely when I'm outlining with my sticky notes. So since this chapter is divided into neat little subsections, I use one to two sticky notes per passage and I briefly outline in really, really concise bullet points um, exactly what's in the passage. So that way when I go back, I'm able to understand what went on in the passage. And by the end of the whole chapter, I end up with a neat little stack of sticky notes that I can then revise in a later time. The best way that I've found to organize my notebooks is to set up an index at the beginning of the notebook. So I have a title for each of my note spreads along with the page numbers that I use in my notebook on the right column. Since this is a history textbook, the end of each chapter has a timeline of everything that's covered in the chapter. So I like to use the timeline in my notes and so for this chapter, I have my timeline that I copied all the way down these two margins and I find that it's a really, really easy way to use the space that you otherwise wouldn't use when you're taking notes. Since traditional outline notes can be rather boring when you go back to look at them, I like to add a little bit more visual interest to my history notes. So I use a mixture of note taking techniques within this note spread. So first I get out all of my sticky notes that I've already outlined. So I have the whole chapter right here in this little pack. And so then I briefly go through and I reorder my sticky notes into how I would like them. And I copy each sticky into different sections and um, make it into a logical order that makes sense when I go back to look at it a few weeks down the road. So I would add visual interest by alternating colors or making a mind map over here or even just adding like arrows and things like that that make it easier to look back at my notes. If you want a more interactive style of note taking, I also make these little summary foldables. So you simply fold over the index card. I have a term on this side and when I open it up, a star will annotate that it is um, a definition of what the term is and the bullet point signifies what the historical significance of that term is. So I adapted this from my original method of summary foldables and I made a video about that which I will link right down below for you guys. So definitely check that out if you're interested in knowing more about this method. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting new videos every Wednesday and please be sure to check out my Tumblr and 8 tracks. Bye guys.